become part the great western plains of the United States. Throughout history, this land has often symbolized a kind of American manhood. Colorado. Welcome to Colorado, home of the Rocky Mountain Cowboy. Raging River. But these open spaces are now the home of Caitlin Tossig, who rides her horse here day in, day out. A lot of us use the term cowboy girl because, like, cowboying is a verb to us, but I'm a rancher. So like a working cowboy is paid to only ride and only move cows. But since we have our own place, we do a lot of other stuff too. Caitlin and her mother took over the family business. They now own a huge ranch at almost 3,000 meters above sea level and 170 Angus cattle. The beginnings though were anything but a walk in the park. When I was younger, I used to get so frustrated with that. You know, with, you know, feeling like I had to prove myself and going through that and wondering, like, how can I get to the respect that men my age get? That's been a real struggle for us, but we can think of other ways to do things. Work smarter, not harder. Technology has also had a hard time adapting. This is called the cheater bar, right? So it makes the leverage such that I can do it. I can't reach the ground in. Companies have yet to alter machinery to make it suitable for Caitlin's height. There's a foot throttle and there's a hand throttle. So I just use the hand throttle because I just, I can't reach it. <laughs> In the last 40 years, the number of women that own or co-own a ranch has jumped from 5 to 30 percent. Men are increasingly leaving this grueling line of work and women are inheriting the businesses left behind in the process. And for many of them, it's a difficult price to pay. Guys can do it with kids if their wives will like follow them around. But again, like if the dude wants to take care of the kids and do the cooking. So that's where like if you want to be a woman cowboy, I think that things are going to be different for you. To tackle these challenges, several cowboy girls have launched support groups. Here in Washington State, Beth Robinette holds a training program called the New Cowgirl Camp. And the, and the thing about going back and forth is like, you become four people's worth of people. If you're just walking, you know, you're only covering two feet. Here's an environment for you to learn the things you want to know in a way where you can ask silly questions. They can enter into this industry and be welcomed instead of feeling like they have to fight, and, you know, like, Again, like all this brute force attitude. And the trainers here want to change agriculture by focusing on the environment and animal well-being. If I had no love of life. Back in Colorado, Caitlin Tossig's workday is finally over. It's time for her to pick up her guitar and dive into her other passion, music. Colorado. For decades, it was the voice of men that echoed across these mountains. That girl who got your last name, she... But today, it's Caitlin's voice that sings the history of the American West. When I get home, I'll hang up this dress. 